With the new generation of smartphones, we'll soon be paying for goods and services with our cell phones. But while some see mobile payment as a revolutionary innovation, others say it's a data protection nightmare. Smartphones are gradually becoming able to do everything, including functioning like a digital wallet. You can even use a smartphone to pay for a train ticket. It's fast and it's easy. Enabled by what's called NFC, or Near Field Communication. It's a set of short-range wireless technologies already used at factory gates and by car rental companies. Hofheim, near Frankfurt. Public transport here has been using NFC technology since 2005. Markus Huber helped develop the system. It's only a very small percentage compared to reservations and tickets bought by other means. We don't have enough NFC-compatible infrastructure. We don't have the standards. But that's set to change. There are more and more cell phones with an integrated NFC chip on the market. For now, every system requires its own app. The Rhine Mine Transport Association's app provides tickets as well as information about schedules and delays. Student Anne Nuren is impressed. Until now, I only used my cell phone for text messages, and I'm amazed at how efficiently this works. But I worry about having all my private information on the cell phone, and I wonder where it would all end up if I lost it. Security expert Karsten Noel says that mobile payment is indeed a bit of a risk. NFC is a positive development. It provides a very safe technological tool that everyone can carry around in their pocket. But what is still lacking is the willingness to adapt existing infrastructure to accommodate secure payment systems based on NFC. But banks and credit card companies insist their systems are safe and are introducing NFC on smartphones. The savings banks are calling it Girogo. MasterCard also uses NFC in cell phone stickers, credit cards, and with mobile payment apps. Jürgen Schubel from MasterCard is confident that mobile payment is the wave of the future. The NFC technology is just one step in the development of card reading tools. It's an optimization of the process. We assume that it makes cards safer than ever because the transaction is contactless. NFC brings together various existing apps on a mobile phone. In security terms, it doesn't change anything. Problems remain. All the applications you want are there on a mobile phone, and they're no safer just because it's carried around with you. Still, even Deutsche Bahn is introducing NFC with its touch and travel system. No more waiting in line for a ticket. You just register your point of departure when you get on the train. The conductor checks the ticket on board and you deregister when you disembark. Payment is done by direct debit. It will get even easier in the future, explains Birgit Wirth from Deutsche Bahn. Our vision is that customers won't even have to register and we'll be able to use different payment methods that will be possible by mobile phone, for example. NFC smartphones might help make mobile payment mainstream, but data theft remains an issue. Shift says a wasted opportunity to improve data security.